morning, Falcons. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, day A in your schedule. I'm Mallory Skaggs. And I'm Heath Marching. Today's birthday wishes go out to Stella Grilly, Sophia Denecker, Millfield, and Trey Wooten. Have a great birthday, everyone. Are you interested in becoming a teacher? Come join the Future Educators Club. There will be an informational meeting in Mrs. Fox's room, CR 115, on January 25th during wind time. Do you love to write stories, plays, or poetry? Then come to an informational meeting about a new creative writing club on January 25th in Ms. Fox's room, CR 115. Night to Shine is an unforgettable prom night experience for people with special needs ages 14 and older. We are back in 2023, live and even more fun as we take over Science City at Union Station for a night of fun, dancing, and tons of smiles. 400 volunteers are needed to ensure each individual has a volunteer with them. Look for the flyers with a QR code to sign up. If you have any questions, stop by CR 146B and ask Mrs. Wassinger. The girls swim and dive team went to Columbia the past weekend for the Como swim and dive meet. Congratulations to Staley diver Geraldyn Phillippe for placing 10th out of 70 divers and great job to Reagan Grable for placing 6th in the 100 yard breaststroke. Congratulations Geraldyn and Reagan. National English Honor Society will meet on Tuesday, January 31st in CR 223 during wind time. This meeting is open to all current members and any recent nominees who received a letter from Mrs. Hernandez Hedges. You may sign up in Enriching Students. There will be an informational meeting for Zero Hour ACT Prep on Wednesday, February 1st. Tables are outside the library. You will need to sign up for this meeting and Enriching Students. Please see Ms. Hernandez Hedges if you have any questions. If you're looking for a fun and impactful volunteer opportunity, Special Olympics is the perfect opportunity for you. Here's Maddie Wright with more. Every student needs community service hours. What better way than giving back to Special Olympics sports? I have been playing Special Olympics for five years. Oh, a little over 12 years now. For five years. Even through COVID, people continued to come back, basketball being one of the highest numbered sports. Um, I think it's pushing kids who are athletes <coughs> that don't know what their abilities really are and you kind of get them out here on the court or on the ball field and you, you kind of you push them to do better than they think they can do and it's just seeing a kid over time, I've been at it 12 years to see them go from not thinking they could play basketball to being a star so it's, it's just it, it's fun to watch. Just probably just hang out and um, just to have fun. Favorite part about Special Olympics is uh, helping the kids and just overall just making them happy and having a fun day. These kids really appreciate you being out here. They listen. Uh, it's fun to see the kids. They do things they didn't know they could do and it's fun to help facilitate uh, kind of their confidence. So it's just a blast to play. It's a fun group. Um, you can, they work hard. It's just great to be here. Um, other people should play Special Olympics because it helps the community and um, it's just, it's a good way to give back. Signing off for SCTV News, this has been Maddie Wright. One, two, three. North Well, that's all we have for you today, Staley. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and visit us online at StaleyNews.com. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube for daily shows and more. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone.